modern bullet consists of a jacket made of a harder metal, such as a copper alloy. This protects the softer lead inside during its launch and in flight, because you want the bullet to be in one piece when it hits the target. I believe the most important property for lead is the property of ductility. It allows us to deform the bullet permanently, deform the lead permanently into the shape and volume that we desire. Every three minutes at Sierra, an 80-pound bar of lead called a billet is loaded into a hydraulic press. Using 250 tons of extremely high pressure, not heat, the lead is pressed through a device called a die forcing the soft metal to deform into a thin wire. The lead wire is taken up on reels and ultimately cut up to become the core of the bullet. If we're going to make a very large caliber bullet, such as a 45 caliber bullet, we will use a very thick lead wire. If we're going to make a very small bullet, such as a 20 caliber bullet, we'll use a very thin lead wire. The denser the bullet, the more it's going to buck your wind, the more it's going to negate the forces of wind and continue to travel in a gyroscopically stable manner. For these projectiles, copper alloy is used for the bullet's jacket because copper is easy to form, but it is hard enough to preserve the lead core when the bullet is fired. After the copper jackets are drawn, they're lubricated with soap and trimmed. Then they are ready to be assembled with a lead core. When we put a lead core in a jacket, we want it to be able to press to the inside of the jacket and fit perfectly and not shrink back. If the lead were to shrink in the copper jacket, it would leave an air pocket, and any variance in weight can unbalance a bullet, making it inaccurate. Consistency equals precision, and that's all important in bullet making because the end game is performance.